may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Share, subscribe, like this video, make sure you put your prayer request in the bottom. A lot of late breaking news coming out this morning. Early this morning, Israel invaded a place. It was, a, I guess, a weapons depot in Syria itself. Also, there is some rumors and a video surfaced this morning. Uh, a group out of Israel showing the Temple Mount on fire and with in parentheses inside this video is will be seen soon so there's a lot of things happening also the UN General Assembly passes Security Council to give favorable consideration to the full Palestinian membership this is also more prophecy happening right now as we speak so they've passed a resolution that will give them a seat there at the UN also just a couple minutes ago there was a 5.0 earthquake. They've already downgraded it within 10 seconds. As I've said, that's what they do. An earthquake centered around Malibu area. The primary uh, magnitude was 5.1. And like I said, they changed it to 4.7 within seconds. They didn't even look at the paper. Followed by a magnitude 2.8 aftershock. Centered just north of Malibu. Shaking from a quake at a depth of about 7 miles. 7 miles was reported in Malibu, uh, Hermosa Beach, Anaheim, Santa Monica, the Hollywood Hills, and parts of San Fernando, Fernando Valley. There were no imminent reports of injuries or significant damage. All right. State of Palestine takes a seat in the U.S. General, UN's General Assembly, despite lack of membership. Israel's envoy decries May decision granting Palestinian delegation new rights, including to submit proposals and amendments as a reward for terrorism, which is true. The United States Palestinians took a seat among member states of the UN General Assembly on Tuesday. It was, uh, when is today? Two days ago. In May, an overwhelming majority of General Assembly asserted that the Palestinians deserve a full membership, a move that has been blocked by the United States, which along with Israel says recognition of the Palestinian statehood may come, come to a peace agreement that will through the Antichrist. That's why I said this is prophecy. The General Assembly granted the delegation certain new rights in the resolution, which still excludes it from able to vote as a member. Starting with the 79th General Assembly session, which began on Tuesday, Palestinians can submit proposals and amendments and sit among member states. The Palestinian Authority and envoy to the United States took his place on Tuesday afternoon at a table marked State of Palestine between Sri Lanka and Sudan. This is not merely a procedural matter. This is a historic moment for us. No, it's basically the end of the world. They just ain't figured it out yet. Just during the resolution adoption, Israel denounced the move. Any decision and action that improves the status of the Palestinians, either the UN General Assembly or biological, is currently a reward for terrorism in general and Hamas terrorists in particular. So like I said, another prophecy. They're, they're adding up. That means you better be looking up. Mysterious UFO crossing the sky to New York sparks talks of aliens. We told you, every time there's a rapture high watch time, they bring out the alien card, and it will be played out that way. A mysterious orb light is sprawling, glowing tall, and spotted soaring across the Big Apple skies early Tuesday morning, ignoring theories that aliens were preparing to touch down. Conspirators were right. The strange object was, in fact, a spaceship, but not the kind of the green men. 
Something similar was green, uh, seen in Pennsylvania shortly after in the Polaris Dawn launched from Canadian Space Station in Florida, carrying NASA scientists and daredevil civilian who is to be the first non-astronauts to perform a spacewalk. So, like I said, the UFO thing, and that's not even all of it. There's plenty more of UFOs that have been spotted here in the last couple of weeks. U.S. pleased by deaths in Ukraine conflict. This is coming from Moscow. U.S. politicians are extremely pleased by the deaths of slaves on both sides of Russia's Ukraine conflict, Moscow ambassador said to Washington. Reports that Ukraine may soon be allowed to strike deep inside Russia. From what we're understanding today, from insider sources, that it has been approved through both countries. And I know it, it does because we already saw the outcome of it. The U.S. is increasingly involved in the conflict, he added, claiming the Western nations have instructed Ukraine to step up attacks on civilian targets. Citing House Foreign Affairs Committee Chairman Michael McCall reports that on Tuesday that the U.S. could lift uh, restrictions they already have, but they're not going to put it out in the public. From what we're understanding through the intel we're getting, it's going to be secretly. They're not only people. Now, from what I understand, this is coming out that there was some kind of spy there from Russia. And they got the leg up on this, and they said that it will be done through both countries, but they won't put it out in the public. They don't want the public to know. And that's what we're seeing right now. There's a, Like I said, God's been warning us. It's the things behind the scenes that we're warning you about that's happening, because God's warning us that they're doing a lot of things behind the scenes. It seems that Washington perfectly understands the situation on the battlefield when every day Russian troops liberate more and more settlements in the Donbass. However, politicians are extremely pleased with the deaths of slaves on both sides of the line. They openly proclaim a simple task to preserve the old system of international relations with where America used to dominate. According to the envoy, Washington's role requirement in Kiev is to increase military clashes with Russian troops. And that's basically what we've seen. The U.S. is testing the limit on our tolerance, the hostile steps but this is plans to inflict a strategic defeat on Russia are not feasible. The ambassador claimed that Kiev's Western backers had tasked and intensified attacks against ordinary Russians or cities and villages. No one's even trying to hide even the highest level of the White House. The intelligence data has been continuous flow from the United States to Kiev. It just escalates more and more every day. Ukraine will join NATO. This come out from Blinken. Washington wants to see Kiev win the conflict against Moscow and join NATO. Now, Russia has already made it very clear that if they become a NATO nation, they will no longer exist on the planet. Just throwing that out there. That's their words, not mine. Putin issues fighter jet ultimatum to NATO ally over planned visit. So, I mean, the threats are just each and every day, everything we look at. U.S. to allow Ukraine to attack Russia with long-range weapons. This is more news on that that's coming out this morning. Washington intends to lift restrictions on Kiev use of U.S. provide attack of missiles. But the thing is, from what we're understanding, that they're not putting in here, and we've got too much intel coming out that they want cruise missiles. That's what they want. And from what we're understanding, they're sending them there. The limitations were originally put in place to allow the U.S. and allies to claim that they were not involved in the conflict with Russia while arming Ukraine to the tune of 200 billion or more, Kiev has been clamoring for restrictions to be lifted. U.S. Secretary Blinken intends to announce the policy change while visiting Kiev. As far as we know, it already has been lifted. However, Bloomberg quoted Blinken on Tuesday and said it signaled Washington's change of heart and claims that the Iran supplied Russia with ballistic missiles. That's just an excuse. They was going to give it to them anyway. Wouldn't matter what Iran did. We're going to look and listen to the Ukraine request. Blinken said press conference with Lammy in London. Now, what makes this so important is that they're saying this about the Iran missiles. That's the reason they changed this policy. That's important because that's actually another prophecy. Daniel 10, if you get into Daniel, talks about that Iran will pull all the world into World War III. Well, that is part of this. That brings Russia, Ukraine, and America, and Europe into this, but all done via Persia. So that's scripture. Word for word, Iran and all of its proxies are pulling the whole world into a war. That is in Daniel. Now, if you go on through Daniel, that means Jacob's trouble is right around the corner at any time. We keep warning, sounding the alarm bells that this is going to happen. The rest is up to you. Either you listen 
or you get left behind if you're lost. That's just the way this is going right now. I advise everyone to literally get on the boat before it's too late if you're lost. The U.S. presidential debate between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris lacks substance. This is coming out of Russia. Their country is going to full speed ahead towards disaster, like they said. And this right here is a perfect scene because if people think that Trump's going to save the day, either of them, they're basically trying to save the Titanic. It's already sinking. Don't matter what they do, who gets it, it doesn't matter. The ship is sinking and it can't be saved. But they're not going to tell you that. They expect Americans just to be so dumb, they're not going to figure it out until it's too late. They honestly think like that. Most Americans don't watch the news. They don't care. They put their head in the sand and they just live their life to the fullest. And they will wake up one day with nothing. Just like in the Great Depression. They'll be jumping off roofs. That's what's coming. I promise you. We watch the data every day. The dollar is losing traction every single day. They've lost trillions already. It's in September 1st. Bet you didn't know that, did you? Of course not. You're not going to hear it on Fox, MSNBC. They're not going to tell you until you wake up and your banks are empty. They're just not. And that's their plan. They're going to literally bankroll the whole United States, and they're going to crash it. That's what's going to happen. That's what we're looking at. Because you can see it. It's written on the wall. Gold is still up. That's a sign of world war. All the signs are there. All the indicators that they're going to war is happening. And it's not coincidence that they've set this up right before November. I told you they was going to do it. And it's not that, you know, I mean, God's been warning us, but it just, it, you just look at it. You know what they're going to do. If she's doing bad in the polls, which they're saying she is one day and next day that she's not, but they're going to go by that. And then if they have to go, they're going to try to speed up this war to make sure that the war is happening and November never takes place. I'm telling you, mark it down. Don't have to be a conspiracy theorist. This is not hard. These people are being run by Lucifer. He's not going to give up control now, people. You can forget it. He's not going to give it up. All right. Let's see what else we got here besides everything else falling apart. All right. Let's see. Let's get on the telegrams. There's a lot of stuff going on over there. All right. Today, if you're in Germany, if you're a brother and sister there, they're having National Wide Warning Day. So expect that on your phone this morning. Uh, there's some fighting breaking out between India and China. Right. Ukraine shot down a Russian Su-305 fighter this morning over the Black Sea. Looks like they're pulling out the, the see the, by order of the U.S. Secretary of Defense, the U.S. Navy aircraft carrier Theodore Roosevelt has left the Middle East with its own warships this morning. Uh, Serbia president will address the nation tomorrow at 6 p.m. regarding the latest events of Kosovo and uh, declaring occupation as part of the disputed area that is also on the table. By the way, Serbia, they've been watching it like a hawk, too, because it's ready to go hot. Uh, Dmitry Medvedev threatened Britain with destruction. Once again, an island called Britain will probably sink. Now, remember, they said, World Economic Forum said before the election, an island would sink. Remember, they said it, not me. Listen to this again. Dmitry Medvedev threatened Britain and, and with destruction. An island called Britain will probably sink within the next few years. Our hypersonic missiles will help us if necessary. Come from Russia this morning. But they're predicting it before election time. And they're predicting a worldwide power failure. A major virus that will take down all the grids. Now, there is a huge CME headed our way. Huge. It's one of the biggest ones ever recorded. Just like that one that we had what, back in May, I think. Well, there's one headed our way now, and it's earth-facing. It's on its way. It's a big storm. A big piece of this mass come off the sun, and it's headed our way. So, definitely keep your eyes open. Now, if, you're, if you get headaches and stuff like that, 
due to these big CMEs, make sure that you, you know that it's coming because I think it's supposed to start hitting us tomorrow on Friday the 13th of all times. So keep that in mind because I know I get the headaches when it happens too. So you, if you start feeling bad or anything like that, it's because of it. But it should start arriving here tomorrow night. We don't know what the outcome is going to be, what it will affect because this is a big one. The storms, the hurricanes. I mean, we just had a hurricane hit on 9-11, people. Earthquakes everywhere, just like I told you, California is being shook like there is no tomorrow. This is the most they've seen in what they can't even tell you how long. The sun is erupting. It ain't even supposed to be erupting like this. We got 20 some volcanoes erupting at the same time. The signs are there. The rapture of the church is any moment. Powerful magnetic storms will continue until tomorrow. Uh, cloudy and rainy weather will add to the bad feelings which will increase the uh, effect of the magnetic storm. So it's supposed to be a lot of rain tomorrow, so it'll make you feel worse. The CM impact of detected kernel solar wind speed, 502 kilometers per second. And so this is a pretty vicious storm that's coming. Breaking Israel is burning heavy rocket causing fires in the Nahara area in the Western sector. Uh, China warns it will crush any foreign interference in southern China Sea because right now America is talking about sending rockets to Japan. And Russia and China has come out and said they will meet the United States if they do this jointly, which is going to happen anyway. It's coming. That's why we told you, get on that boat. All right, let's see what else we got here. Yeah, main storm on Friday the 13th, strong solar activity is expected tomorrow in with a K index of 6 red. So it's very, very powerful storm. Uh, it will affect cell towers, satellites, radio frequencies, and GPS. So I may expect that tomorrow. Also, uh, this is a thing I told you about was coming out. It says, uh, breaking radical is Israel Temple Mound activist settler, settler organization pro published footage of the al Quaza mosque burning with comments. And it says soon these, uh, soon these days. Like I said, there's a lot of movement in Israel to take back the Temple Mound and it's growing by the day. This is all, all prophecy. Right. Germany, nationwide disruptions and card payments. This is happening, so they must have somebody hacked into their thing again. All right, card payment disrupted throughout Germany. So if you're our brothers and sisters over in Germany, that there's something that's happened to some, I guess it's been a cyber attack. Germany, card payments disru uh, disrupted throughout the country. Anyone who wants to pay with a card at the checkout may currently en encounter problems. So you might want to, if you're our brothers and sisters in Germany, you might need to give you some money on you besides your cards. Since early this morning, payments uh, by gyro, credit, and debit cards have been disrupted nationwide. So make sure if you go out to the store this morning, if you're in Germany, that you know that your card might not go through. Right, let's see. North Korea fixed multiple short-range ballistic missiles towards the sea on Thursday. His neighbor said days after North Korea leader Kim Jong-un vowed to put the nuclear force fully ready for the battle with its rivals. As I said, the world is closer and closer. There's the earthquake. Let's see. Two Russian military patrol aircraft, TU-144, want to... Say that three times fast. TU-142, the warplanes flew from the coast of Aki Island in Shenong Prefecture through the Tashina Strait into East China Sea, then passed through the main island. This is all happening right there in the Pacific, right near uh, Japan. We've also seen an influx of, on flight radar, a lot of intelligence flights around Japan. We usually don't see that. It's usually around Taiwan, but there's here lately you have angry fillers that are constantly surrounding and going around Japan. And they're also got tons of uh, 
they've been having, I think there's a P-135 there probably, I think, that was scanning the area, and they've got drones. So they've had a lot of stuff like Taiwan has while China and Russia is going into their airspace. So they're like looking for something is what they're doing. That is what they're doing. The world is gearing up for war. That's what we're looking at right now. Be ready for it. It is coming. Not for us, because we're going home. All right. Alert. Financial experts. Largest U.S. crash has started, and it has. The U.S. dollars. and Just the Americans don't know it's coming. They're just going to wake up broke, and you can't tell them. They would never believe it anyway. Never believe it. U.S. election officials warn of widespread performance issues with USPS, our post office, in nearly every state with, uh, d uh, will disrupt mail-in voting. Wow. That sounds familiar, too. You can't make a stuff up. They, just, they tell you what they're going to do before they do it. But see, people don't look at the news. They don't go looking, so don't even get me started. Don't even get me started. Let's see. It's like wasting my breath sometimes, I feel like. Pentagon reveals U.S. nuclear armed submarine now in the Middle East waters. That is the USS Georgia. And it does have nuclear weapons on board. And it's like I said last night, it's in the place where Russia is vulnerable and Russia knows it. They know it. Let's see what else we got here. U.S. scrambles fighter jets to intercept Russian aircraft near Alaska again. They've been prying that area too there in Alaska. We've seen the R-135s, we've seen the Q-4 Reaper drones up there, and the Q-4 Global Hawk has been up there watching that area. So there's a lot of activity up towards uh, Alaska. So all of our brothers and sisters up there, keep your eyes open because there's Russia and China both been prying into that to see what the response time is. So just know that it's happening. No sleeping bags keep moving. California science increase. Cities increase crackdown on homeless encampments. Like I said, we send all of our tax money to Ukraine while people in California, they can't even sleep in a sleeping bag. They, they kick them out of their own sleeping bags. I mean, Jesus, come quickly. This country is just garbage anymore. It's disgusting. The whole world's disgusting. Heavy blow to Iran Air. France, Germany, and UK will ban the Iran Airlines from flying to their countries. So if you go to Iran, you probably won't be able to get home if you're living in Europe. So make sure that you know that ahead of time. It's like everything else we have literally covered to get you all up to date of what's happening right now as we speak. Just making sure there's something else. There's also some stuff I'm looking into about meats. And they're doing recalls on eggs, meats, a lot of stuff right now. Uh, keep in mind, brothers and sisters, right now I've never seen this many recalls on the uh, meats, eggs, all kinds of stuff. So make sure you always keep up to date with all these recalls. Because there's, there's more now than I've ever seen, I'll be honest with you. I've seen more recalls in the last week or two. I mean, it's just alarming. So keep your eyes on it, okay? Trust the gospel. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Jesus died on the cross for our sins, past, present, and future. He died and was buried, rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. Trust Jesus and Jesus alone. Don't just take our word for it with what we bring you. Always go to Jesus, okay? Always go to Jesus and have him confirm what you're hearing is the truth. There's a lot of deception out there. It's everywhere. You can't hardly believe anything anymore. That's why I don't want to be here anymore. It's just that dangerous out there. But you guys know that as well as I do. 
We live in a very scary time, but a very good time for us because we're going home soon. But we don't have to deal with all these horrible things and these horrible people that hurt the innocent. The stuff that's going on in Springfield, Ohio right now is like nothing I've ever seen. And it's really, it's unfortunate. The Haitian people there come from Hades. They're very poor people. And, you know, just, and it's just, it, it's horrible for the Americans that are there dealing with it. And it's, it's horrible for the Haitian people because they're, they're basically pre-industrial. Most of them, most of them's probably never even seen a stove that actually works or anything like that. Or it's just, it's a sad world. It really is. But the stuff that's going on in Springfield, Ohio is a nightmare for the Americans that are there trying to live with the Haitian people. I see because they're bringing the people from Haiti in every day and they're flying them in here. And it's got to be a culture shock for them, poor people too. I do take in consideration for them also. Some of these people are just, they've been poor all their lives. We live in a sad world. There's really no winning here. The only win is going to be Jesus coming back and fixing all this. Because the world's just long gone. There's no fixing it. No man's going to come back and fix it for sure. Okay? The world's just long gone. And only Jesus is the answer now. That is it. This is a sad world that we're living in. Can I get an amen? But very soon, the blessed hope will come through those clouds and get us out of here. It's any day now. It is coming. Jesus is coming to get his bride. Be ready to go home. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for another day, Father. Thank you for protecting this family, the watchmen and watchwomen out there around the world that's on all these networks, telling everybody that they have limited time here to get saved now in Jesus' name. Protect them with a shield. Be with the Jewish people, Lord. Jacob's trouble surrounds them right now as we speak. And it could be any moment now that it begins when Daniel 9.27 starts off. Be with them through these dark days to come, God. In Jesus' name it will be done. Lord Jesus, be with these family members, the homeless, the sick, the people that are just struggling to get there, Lord. Give them the strength to make it to the rapture. In Jesus' name it will be done. Be with the ones, Lord, that come against these programs to wake them up before it's too late in Jesus' name. Lord Jesus, I pray for all these family members' names, friends, loved ones that come here each and every day. I know we have less time, but Lord, but remember, they're here every day with these people. You know them all by name that they'll be saved before it's too late. In Jesus' name I pray, and amen. I want to thank each and every one of you for those who donated through PayPal, the Buy Me Coffees, and the ones who bought the super stickers here on YouTube. Also, we want to uh, wish Bonnie McCoy. She's one of the ones started out with me on here. Happy birthday today. Today's her birthday. She has not been well most of this year, so always keep Bonnie in your prayers. Always keep Shelly and her family in your prayers. Keep everybody in this family in your prayers at all times. we got to work together because, really, we're all we got. You know that. Down here. Now, Jesus is with us all, but down here, it's just basically us against, well, it's the whole world. Most people think we're all crazy and everything else. But we know we're not because we're getting the warnings. So, if you get anything, dreams-wise, anything you think out of the ordinary, make sure we get it. Because right now is a very important time. Because we could be gone at any moment. So, anything you're getting that you think that we need to get, make sure we get it. I love each and every one of you. If I don't see or hear from you, I'll see you in heaven. Thank you once again for tuning in to Global Rapture Watchers, where we do daily updates here on YouTube, letting you know that we're one day closer to our Lord and Savior coming back. Thank you for all the support for this channel. This channel was created for God's sheep, those that are waiting for their Lord and Savior to come back and get us in these last days. We do updates once to two times a day here on YouTube. Thank you for all your support for the channel. God bless each and every one of you.